Let's go like this. I don't think it's good. It's a good idea to crawl through these vents. But again, if this was a horror game, that would be really bad. But this is not a horror game. I don't think there will be anything bad about it. Hey, yo, guys, it is me, Hippocirc, and welcome back to another episode of The Long Dark. So I dropped here a bunch of a bunch of items because I had like 45 or something kilos. Now I have only 34. So we got to get out of this place. I might have left here something important, but who cares? I don't have enough space in my backpack regardless. So I'll have to survive and we have to go, guys, back over here to this dam. So that's what I'll try to do. Probably on my way here, we're going to get guys to this house to just warm up a little bit. Well, just like that, guys, we warmed up. Everything is fine. It's still going to last like for 30 more minutes. But there is no point for me to stay here at this place Even though it's pretty cozy, it's pretty warm But whatever And whilst guys, I am excited to go and check out that third episode or whatever But at the same time, I'm very curious to see how far I'll be able to get here in this survival mode Because it's very easy to play here in this story mode Because they're just giving you here lots of items and whatever But will I be able like to fight those wolves and whatever? Will I be able to find a weapon here on my own? And maybe I'm even gonna start like some sort of a different map Because you can play here in winter mute story In, in that survival mode But you can also change change maps to where they're gonna be a little bit more difficult, so we'll see. And at the same time, obviously, I forgot the most important thing here of the video is to smash that like button on the video because if you want more guys of the Long Dark videos, then you know what to do. Your likes support these videos tremendously, and as I said already, likes are the best way for me to see that you want another video. So thank you guys for all your support. I really, really appreciate that. Honestly, support on the Long Dark series is just overwhelming, so thank you guys. I'm glad that you're enjoying these series just as I enjoy this game myself. Okay, so my guy is getting cold here really quickly, so because there's like that double arrow going down so i'm gonna try to hop back guys inside wait there's a camp okay there's gonna be like Methuselah. so most likely again you'll be able to skip like all this talk with Methuselah. i'm gonna talk to him because i'm kind of interested to what garbage he's gonna say but i think that he's definitely not gonna say here anything interesting so feel free to skip all of this entire dialogue with me and Methuselah. okay so let's talk to you boy let's see oh, let's see Mackenzie. so you're still alive kind of Methuselah. you appear in the strangest places You've left your mark, and have overcome great odds so far, but this part of the world still holds some secrets. I'm not sure this is the right time for... It's always weird. He's always weird. There are still stories that need to be told. I don't want to hear them. Honestly, I don't want to hear them. There is always time for that. But if you are in a hurry... You know, it's been a hell of a slog out there. Never mind that damn bear. Okay, you nearly it died. Been easy for you either. You see, I have wandered these paths a long time, friend. I was a walker. Now, and I'm where are, he's literally not saying anything. You again. It's good to find and keep to your paths. That's it. Okay, that's it, guys. So I skipped your kind of stuff because you can s skip the dialogues with space. He literally did not say anything. So even though I skipped some dialogues, he literally didn't say anything. They just spoke for quite a bit and we didn't learn a single. Okay, so my guy did not warm up. You know what? I'm gonna run back here. Well, whatever. I probably did not warm up enough on that campfire, but I think I'll be able to hop guys inside of like this place inside of the dam. I'll try to repair that elevator because that's what the guy told me to do. I'll have to repair the elevator. Are you gonna say something? Maybe you will, maybe you won't. So my objective is get into the dam at night when the aurora is in the sky. Are you actually kidding me? So this is what I'll have to do then. Okay, so when aurora is in the sky, oh, that's when elevator is gonna work. Okay, okay, so can I leave upper dam? Okay, so we can definitely probably leave this place now. So can I like find some sort of a bed? Maybe there's gonna be guys a bed on the second floor. Well, call me crazy. I don't even need a bed. I actually have guys a sleeping bag here myself so I can place guys a sleeping bag over here. I'm gonna save now. And what time is it? It's just literally middle of the day. But before I go there, I'm gonna drink like a little bit of water and we're gonna go guys in the bedroll. And I think we'll sleep for about maybe like seven hours. Uh, let's try to sleep maybe for six hours here we go i don't think my guy is gonna freeze to death because it's kind of warm here inside this building so we can sleep obviously and hopefully aurora is gonna be right now or is it still day i think guys it's still day so we're gonna sleep for extra three hours two hours guys let's try to sleep for extra two hours so i'm literally guys over here it's literally the middle of the night but i aurora is not here why so what will i have to just sleep randomly through a couple of days until that aurora is gonna appear which probably would make sense well there's the bedroll so i think i can maybe place my bedroll and sleep here maybe i just have to sleep like for extra guys two hours and maybe aurora is gonna appear just like in the middle middle of the night so i just slept guys through entire night so what i'm gonna try to do is just sleep through another day but again my guy is not tired 
But I don't think that's gonna be big of a problem. We're still gonna force my guy to sleep. So here we go, guys. I just slept enough outside and we have Aurora here. Very nice. So I'm gonna try to drink some water now because I slept for about like 12 extra hours I ate and whatever. So it's all good. So we have the water, guys. We're gonna take one extra can. I don't think I need to take anything. Let's take, guys, this sleeping bag. We're gonna say finally it worked. So I don't think it probably worked if you would have slept inside of like this dam, but you had to sleep outside of it. Okay, so there's the guys, this Aurora. Very nice. Let's open show it and let's see what it's all gonna be about. If I'll be able to get inside of the elevator. Maybe it will work. Maybe yes, maybe no. I mean, we can see the keypad, but how am I gonna get that password? I mean, it says to get, okay, so access the control room using Jeremiah's code, but did he give me the code? Did he give me the code? I don't know the Jeremiah's code actually. Wait, what's the code keypad? It probably worked. It probably worked. Wait, you know what, guys? Just for your sakes and for my sake, we're gonna light it up just like that, boom. And I do know that somewhere at the entrance, guys, there has to be a lamp. So we're gonna take that lamp, even though I'm gonna be kind of encumbered, but I think for this episode here right now, we will definitely require to take it. Yes, guys, let's take this thing. We're gonna get rid of the thing, boom. Take another thing and we're gonna, guys, light up our lantern. So this way we can see some stuff. Very nice. So we should have enough fuel here for at least a little bit, guys. So let's go inside of like that control room. I'm gonna save here once again. Let's guys hop inside of the control room. Let's see what it's all gonna be about. There is a lantern. So what do I have to do? Some books. I don't care about that. Okay, so there's like some sort of switch box. Uh, what's going on? What did I do? I don't get it so far. I don't get it so far. Find your way through Carter Hydro Dam. Okay, so I'll have to search for something. There's guys a save, which I don't think I'll even need to open up the fire starter painkillers, which I already have like enough of those, which again, probably I could take more, but I don't have any space in my backpack already. I don't even know if I have to go and loot everything here. As truth to be told, I have enough items. I don't think I'm gonna get here anything. So I'm just gonna guys try to leave this place, kind of like crawl through it. I mean, I activated the electricity. So is there any Anything else that I'll have to do? There was a little bit of food, so I'm gonna take guys probably like this. Uh, another can, another can. Hey, not a big deal. We're still gonna save. So probably now when electricity is done, I'll be able to go to the elevator. But where is that elevator? Is the elevator over here? I think, guys, this is gonna be the elevator. So if it's working now, can I activate it? I guess there's only one way to go from here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, stop it, dude. Stop it, dude. We don't need to drop anything. No, no, no. Don't extinguish it. I just want to see... Can I loot the backpack? Now, apparently I cannot, guys, loot the backpack unless I extinguish the fire. Well, whatever. We're not gonna loot it then. Because apparently you cannot loot that backpack when you have, like, that thing on you. Maybe it Holy wasn't because shit, of that. Was that. I have no idea. Okay, so... So, elevator door was closed. Let's open it up. I'm scared to go here. There's lots of blood. Is that blood? Is this blood? I just got in the save. Explore the guts of the dam. Uh, okay. So why I don't see anything, guys, with this lantern? Okay, can I take back my lantern? Because I should definitely have some more stuff. Wait, I'm gonna light it up. Here we go once again. I still should have, guys, a little bit of that stuff. So I'm gonna try to explore it as soon as I can. Okay, so maybe this is not even blood. Maybe it's all good. Okay, so I think I know where to go. I just reloaded here to not waste all of the lantern fuel. So we're gonna go, guys, just like that. I gotta be careful of the wires because they do lots of damage. Which is definitely reasonable. Wait, let's save here once again. We're gonna go just like that, just like that. And I think we will have to go here. I'm not sure. But that's the only way that I still haven't explored yet. Well, there's gonna be a locker. Do I loot it? Yeah, guys, let's loot the locker. Why not? We are already here. Yes, lantern fuel. Yes, yes, let's take it. I think I'll even be able to refill this lantern because I still have lots of that lantern fuel. So maybe that's not gonna be a big of a problem. Isn't that where I came from? Uh, oh, guys, this is the other place. Okay, I get it now. I get it now. Is there anything else here? So there's the chair. Okay, so I just finally found a way where to go. So this is gonna be the thing, and that's where I'll have to go next. Probably, I assume. Uh, there's nothing here. Nothing over here. So probably I'll have to go this side. Oh, no, there, there's nothing even here on this side. So wait, where do I go now? Everything seems here really mysterious. I don't see any radios that I could contact here. Anyone. Okay, so a hand card. Okay, so I don't need... I don't have that hacksaw. Nothing here and nothing there. Are you... At, oh, there's the guy's mountaineering rope. So we're gonna save. Obviously, we gotta use, guys, this mountaineering rope to encumber to climb, like... Bruh. Well, here we go. I dropped some of the stuff. Now, let's go, guys, on this mountaineering rope. And where do I go? I don't see where I'm going. Do I just climb down? Yeah, I think I just climbed down. Uh, that's good enough. Okay, so we're gonna save once again. Gonna take back, guys, my lantern. We're kind of running out of fuel here, but I think my guy's just gonna refill it. Or I don't know how you have to refill your lantern, honestly. I have no idea what we'll have to do. Is that where I have to touch? 
Oh no, what are you doing? Well, I'm just gonna reload quickly because for some reason my guy was like, oh, hot, hot, hot. So he lost some stuff, so I don't want to do it again. Do I go like this here? Oh, there was like this, guys. The thing. Do I go here? Do I touch it now? Nope, it's not the thing that I gotta touch. Uh, do I touch, like, guys, this thing? Whatever that is. Some sort of a hatch. Let's go, guys. Let's leave it. Um, okay. We're gonna turn on the lantern what's in get, but can I, like, refill it, please? Actions. Uh, refuel, guys. So here we go. We can refuel this lantern. We have another uh, one liter of that oil. Let's save here once again. Let's take it now. And boom, here we go, guys. We have enough fuel forever. We have enough light. Let's go. Let's explore the dam. So I really thought this it's gonna be quicker because I've already been recording here for half an hour and I thought that we'll be able to start like second episode, third episode by now already. But it looks like it's a lot longer, so hey, I love it. I mean, there's not much to explore, as I said. Leave the dam, I don't have it. The keypad, I don't have it. Uh, what was that? I have no idea what that is. Maybe there's gonna be a radio now here, maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, it all looks too mysterious. It all looks so weird. I don't know where I'm going. I don't see what that stuff is. I'm kind of scared to go, guys, and loot that backpack because there's lots of electricity and my guy's just gonna die, so... What's the point of that backpack? What is this place? Yeah. I, yeah, I better watch out, dude. Better watch out. We're gonna save here once again. Because we've made a little bit of progress. And uh, I don't see what that is. Okay, so just some sort of newspaper. I totally don't need that. So I'll have to probably run through it. Here go, guys. I'm gonna save real quick. And I'm just gonna try to run through... Oh, no, I'm dead. Okay, so apparently I cannot go through this. Even if I, guys, destroy these crates or whatever, I still cannot go while there's electricity. But I think that there's something at the very end. I'm not sure about that, though. So there are a few options once. Either I'll have to wait until all of this thing is gonna stop. And I'll have to come back here during the day when there's no aurora. Or something else. Wait, I'm just gonna try to run through the wires. Oh no, more wires which I cannot go to, cannot turn that off. Well, I drank a little bit of water, I placed my bedroll. So we're gonna sleep like maybe for eight hours. Let's try to sleep here. I don't think my guy is gonna die. I think that Aurora is just gonna disappear. Yes, indeed, here we go, guys. Aurora is gone. My guy just woke up. So what I'm gonna do is take my lantern. We're gonna light it up. Here we go. All of that nonsense is stopped. I'm gonna take back my sleeping bag and we will just see if I'm not gonna be able to go through that place. Then hey, that was a bad call. Can I touch it? Switch box. Off. Did I really need to turn it off? Well, nothing happened. I turned it on and turned it off. Nothing is going on. So uh, I'm gonna try to go through this place now. Here we go. It works now. We can definitely go through this thing because yeah, I think we had to wait until guys that Aurora is gonna disappear. So I'm gonna quickly loot here a couple of drawers or whatever. Maybe I'll get like some sort of a note telling me that password to open up like that elevator because there's another elevator to leave that dam. But I also think that we need to find the radio first now to call... Like that Jeremiah or whatever. I mean to do Jeremiah a favor. Well, I found another bullet that said, okay, so whetstone. Maybe I'd require that whetstone in a survival mode. I don't think I'll need it in a, a story mode though. So that's it, guys. Let's go a bit, a bit further. Let's go like this. I don't think it's good. It's a good idea to crawl through these vents. But again, if this was a horror game, that would be really bad. But this is not a horror game. I don't think there will be anything bad about it. Yeah, there's no way I'd be able to get through these wires again because they always, for some reason... Uh, trying to electrocute you electrify you doesn't matter. Okay, so we are over here now What is this place where I am? I don't know wish I knew what I'm doing So I searched guys most of the cabinets here still did not find anything. That's where we came from So I think we're gonna continue further uh <gasps> What was that did, does somebody live here? I think somebody lives here. How didn't I see him? How did he come behind me? Yeah, there's definitely somebody here. Look at this. What's going on? Oh. Who's this dude? <sighs> what? How didn't I notice him? I just fought a bear and I died from this guy. Like, mm. A locked case. Well, that is interesting. It's not interesting at all, bro. A locked metal case is a thing of the old world, stranger. It's a world of closed doors and things being on. Who limits. is this dude? Ah! <laughs> I just literally fought a bear, bro. Like, really? Really? Yeah, see, I was part of that world, but that world's over. This is my world now, and in my world, I make the rules. In my world, see, there are no locks. What is going on? Your world sounds crazy. 
I don't even know this guy. My guy case? wasn't like, who are you? Whatever. He doesn't even. What? I have no idea. What's in the case? <sighs> I hope it's painkillers. Your ID says you're a pilot. <laughs> this is so strange and weird, not gonna lie. You have a plane somewhere. <sighs> My plane wouldn't do you any good. Yeah. Should I show you what happened to the last person who lied to me? Ooh. She didn't look so pretty after I was yeah, done. Yeah, rip, rip, rip. She? So now he's ready to talk. Well, don't worry, pilot. You'll be with her soon. I'm definitely gonna fight him here right now. Yeah, look at this. We're gonna fight him. Oh, no, we didn't even fight him. That's it? That's it? That's it? <laughs> Wow! I mean, this is like a cool cliffhanger, you know, for them to leave, but it's like, it's so weird, the interac interaction between those people. Like, my guy got punched in the face and he didn't ask, like, who are you or whatever, this was like, really? Who cares, we're just gonna hop, guys, into episode 3, like... So, that is it, guys, episode 3 is starting. And is this what I think it is? Because I think... We're gonna be playing as a different character now. Maybe, maybe yes, maybe no. I have no idea. Those were just rumors that I've heard. But a crossroad elegy. What is this? Wait, is this the guy that uh, punched me in the face? Maybe he was frozen there. Maybe he was just lying there. I don't know. Okay, so some sort of a crow, and is that her? Or is this a dead body? I think this is just a frozen dead body. Right. Oh no, it is actually her! Okay, so that's her. Is she dead? Is she dead? And who was that guy that we were playing now from the first person perspective there? Was it the... The guy who punched us in the face, or it's somebody else? It's like some sort of her friend? Okay, so this is like a hospital with lots of cool RGB lights. I like it. <laughs> Looks dope. So I think now we are waking up as her, right? That's for sure. Because, I mean, there were lots of those screenshots and whatever, whenever, like, a short movie that happens between, like, those episodes, they kept showing her face. So I think we're going to be playing as her. Maybe yes, maybe no. So you're not gonna say anything? So, she lives. Okay, hello. Where am I? And she speaks. You're in my house. Really? Found you out in the snow a few days ago. A, f a few days? Almost dead. You're half frozen and then feverish. So I'm interested. Cuts, you've been dealing with more than just the bad weather. I... Uh... I ran into some trouble on the other side of that tunnel. By the looks of it, I'd say the trouble ran into you. Yeah, okay, so I was wondering, will we play from the beginning? Where am I? I told you. My house. You're still weak. Rest up and we'll talk more later. No, no. Okay. I'm, uh... I'll be, I'll be okay. Suit yourself. And let's talk. Okay, so we're gonna talk. Let's see, who are you? I mean, I'm already grateful that you actually saved me, so that's not- we will, We're not gonna skip the dialogues here because it's gonna be kind of interesting, I think. But how did I get here? I was out... hunting. Came across you in the snow. Buried. You've been out there for hours. Maybe even days. Nearly dead. Oh. Well, um... Thank you. Finding me. Yeah, really appreciated. And don't Molly. <laughs> Thank the crow. Crow? Yeah, crow. Or maybe a raven. Isn't that the same Amber thing? Wouldn't shut up. Let me straight to you. Almost like it was guiding me. Okay, so there's lots of things that we're gonna do. Power, kitchen, uh, let's talk about carried. Let's talk about that. Who carried you us? Carried me here? 
Dragmore like, but yeah. You were pretty far gone. Wasn't sure you'd make it, to be honest. Well, I appreciate it. Remember is the tunnel. So did I die by the tunnel there? I mean, I just lied there. Being chased and then wandering forever, like the world had no end. Yeah, in the woods, in the dark. In the long dark. That's cringe. Until you get so hopelessly lost. There's just no way to get back to where you were. I was in a small town. Milton. Other side of the mountains. Old town. Bad shape since the collapse. Haven't been there in ages. You must have wandered a ways for me to find you where I did. Are there any other people who... No. Who live with her? Old town. Milton. Was fire and <laughs> whoa it's okay you're all right don't get too worked up you nearly died out there okay that does funny things to people it is what it is okay let's go guys let's talk about our kitchen is this your kitchen by the time i got you here there was no way i was carrying you upstairs so you set up a bed in here hours out this is the warmest room in the house. This cook stove is probably keeping us alive. Okay, so thank you very much for saving me. I mean, why am I even so, questioning those things? I don't get it. Power's been up. Nope. Well, we're used to the power going on and off out here in Pleasant Valley. So oh, so it's a Pleasant Valley, okay. We're usually prepared for it. Feels is there? Like you run this farm on generators for better part of the year. Problem is, now the generators won't start, or the cars. Factor. TV's dead. Radio won't work. Basically, the only thing that works is the old landline and rotary phone. How is that possible? I guess because it's pre-electronics. The old party line from when this farm was originally put in, maybe 60, 70 years ago. I'm not exactly sure how or why it still works, but it does. Well, <laughs> That's great. C can you call for help? Find out what's going on out there? I doubt it. There's nobody to call. Nobody else lives around here? Nobody who'd help if you asked for it. Mackenzie, okay, let's ask about him then. I was in a plane crash in the mountains. That's how I ended up in Milton. I, I got separated from... My friend. They were in the crash too? Yes. They make it out alive? Well, there, there was a storm. Wolves. I, I got disoriented. We got separated. I, I couldn't, couldn't see him. Him? So you left him out there? And then I ran into trouble. Okay. Wolves and... I'm sure he made it out fine. Yeah, how are you oh, so sure? Of course you're sure. Yeah, how are you so sure? Nothing could break that stubborn skull. Actually, I, I got hit in the cat uh, with the hatchet in my head. And there's something I need from the plane. What is it? Something important. I need to find him. I need to get it back. You haven't seen a man pass through here. Nobody that sounds like your guy. But you've seen a man. Like I said, nobody that sounds like your guy. Okay, so we are Freezer's done here. Empty. You're gonna need energy to heal, which means we need meat. So you'll go and hunt, right? So I'll have to... to hunt. Okay. You should stay here. Oh, so I'm not the one hunting. You're gonna hunt for us, okay? You don't look too good. She looks really nice. Like, I will. She seems so sweet. She and helped us. It's not safe out there, so just stay in the house. Right. Yeah, so I, I have lots of lots of questions stay now. Stay in the house. So will we get like at the end of the episode three probably kidnapped by that other guy? 
Like, he's gonna, like, whatever hit us as well. Maybe he's gonna even kill us. Because that's what he basically said at the end of like, that episode 2 to Tim McKenzie. So maybe that's what's gonna happen in episode 3. We're gonna meet, like, that other guy and then everything is gonna end. And we'll have to wait for years for episode 4. Because I don't know how frequently those episodes come out. But here we go. It's probably morning. We are awake. And obviously we'll have to play now as... I, I, I don't even know her name. I, oh, the Astrid. Astrid. Not Ada, but Astrid. Ah, you're awake. Thought you were resting. Managed to bag a stag not far from the farm. This will keep us fed for a bit. I heard a kettle whistling. I put it on for tea. So we can have tea and meat. Awesome. Be starting to feel better because that actually sounds good. It's amazing what hunger does to the mind. If you're feeling better, you can start answering some questions. Like, what the hell are you really doing out here? I mean, if you're not gonna answer those questions, like, I mean... Well, eh, better answer for, them. I've lost track of how long. We got the cold, we got deadly blizzards, we got hungry wolves, we got some tea and... Bear. Have she seen a bear? I doubt it. So to be honest, a bit of storytelling be a nice distraction right about now. Okay, doctor, let's talk that she was a doctor, and I want to know what's in that metal case, but I don't think we're going to know it. I think we'll know it, like, at the end of the episode doctor. five and ten years. Dr. Astrid Greenwood. Nice to meet you, Dr. Astrid. Like a head colds and babies doctor? More like lab coats and test tubes. A researcher. Oh, okay, so not the useful kind. <laughs> I need to get to a town up north. Shots fired! <laughs> You know where that is? I don't get out much, but yeah, I've heard of it. Okay. Well, there's some sick people there, and they need my help. And the thing I lost in the plane crash. The thing my friend might have. I need it if I'm gonna help those people. The thing the stubborn guy you left in the plane crash might have? Yeah, that's what she said, exactly. So what you're saying is the thing you need is on the other side of that collapsed tunnel in the mountains, in the place where you ran into trouble. Yes. That's right. You know what? You coming here to Great Bear? Yeah. Not your best plan. Let's talk about sickness? So the people up north in Perseverance Mills, why are they sick? I'm not entirely sure. That's why I need to get there. You must have some ideas, or why travel all this way? I have some ideas, yes. But you aren't going to tell me what they are. No. I'm not. And the thing your friend in the plane crash has, the thing you need to help them? You aren't going to tell me what it is either, are you? Right. This is weird. Well, you are a lady with a lot of secrets. Locked? Let's go. So, when you came in, I heard you locking a padlock. Same thing when you went out. Am I locked in here? It's better for you to stay indoors. Why? Lots of wolves out there. And it's cold. You aren't strong enough to go out there yet. Trust me, it's for your own safety. I appreciate everything you've done to help, but I'd like to leave. I have to find my friend and get on with my work. When you're stronger. So, I'm trapped in here. Like I said, it's for your own good. So, um, is your husband around? Husband? It seems like more than one adult lives here. I assumed, uh... Husband. Assumptions can be dangerous. You're a doctor. You should know that. I didn't mean to. A... You should just mind your own business. But you just got back. I need space. Need to think. I'm sorry. I... All of them are weird. All of them are weird. She's weird. <laughs> the other guy is weird. Like, I mean, us. Astrid is weird. Exactly. 
All of this place is just weird. So what? We're gonna explore now her house. I mean, that's pretty cool. Again, it's a pretty nice introduction. At least these dialogues were kind of interesting. Am I really trapped in here? Uh, probably you are. Okay, so look for clues that might tell you uh, more about Molly. So let's see. Uh, so I need to actually treat my ankle, but I don't have guys a bandage. I've got nothing. I don't have any thing here on me. So can I go and check what that is? Check your journal knowledge about people, places, and actions. You know what? I'm gonna learn anything I want. So we're gonna start exploring it. I don't think it's that bad. Well, she had some food. It feels... I cannot really walk because everywhere I walk, I just keep making that weird sound. How much can I carry? 30 kilos as well, right? So she can carry 30 kilos. Mackenzie can carry 30 kilos. Awesome. Am I gonna steal that cooking pot? Yes, I will. Why not? I'm, I'm in a stranger's house and I'm gonna steal that cooking pot. So yeah, obviously it's gonna be locked. Here we go. I am locked. I keep yelling about my ankle. I don't think I'm gonna get guys any bandages anytime soon. If I had some cloth, then maybe, but I don't have any cloth. Okay, so that other door is gonna be here. We go locked as well. So what's happening here requires basement key. So what's up with this? I don't get it. There's the radio that I cannot touch. There's some more stuff. What is this picture? Okay, so Molly's photos. So like Molly. yeah, oh, she God. and her husband. So maybe something bad happened. Maybe. Maybe. I feel really bad snooping around their house. You know, she was so nice. She saved my life, right? And I would pay by snooping in her house. Even though, again, she locked me or whatever. But is that really nice to go and snoop around? I mean, you could be a little bit more nice to, like, survive and whatever. Because look at this. You can't even walk. Ankles are broken. And I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I need to save them. But how can you save them when you can't even walk, bruh? She could be more nice, Astrid. But, hey, again, that's just my opinion. What do I know? Uh, there is a broken rifle. Do I need to really take it? But, I mean, they let me take it, so I'm gonna take it. Maybe. Okay, so I still don't see any, some sort of tissues, any rags, so that I could craft like that bandage. Okay, so I looted basically the entire first floor. Let's go now, guys, to the second floor. Let's see what that second floor is gonna be about. Again, this feels like a horror game, but this is not a horror game. This is literally not a horror game, so there's nothing I should be scared about to hide or whatever. So there's lots of things around this house, but we cannot loot any of it. Which probably makes sense. I mean, why would you steal anything from this house? Okay, so I see some rags. Maybe there's some medicine. Maybe steal those rags and craft like a bandage. But apparently she cannot do it. Okay, so we guys cannot do it. We cannot loot like this medical cabinet or whatever. More pictures. I cannot check the pictures. And two out of three. Okay, guys, so we need to find another clue. So we're gonna get that clue pretty soon. It looks like there were hunters. There's the table that I cannot break down. A broken TV, some notes and whatever. So, and also guys, while we're doing this, there's actually a cool video explaining all about that Aurora or whatever. I think some of you will already know, guys. There's like this amazing channel, Kyrgyzstat or whatever. And recently they have released a video explaining about how those Auroras work and whatever. So I don't know anything about it myself. I'm gonna be a super bad person to explain this, but those things are real and basically they can destroy your electric equipment. So probably that's what happened here. Obviously, maybe there's something more involved but whatever. So is that it? Did I loot everything? Okay, so there's the receiver. Do I touch it? Nope, I cannot touch, guys, the receiver. But yeah, basically, in short, like, there are some sort of explosions in the sun, and sometimes once in, like, whatever hundred years, that thing reaches our planet, and there might be electrical interference or whatever. I'm probably gonna even leave a link to that video in the description for those who are interested to learn more stuff about it. Okay, so we just got in the safe. I've been traveling here for quite a bit of time, but I still didn't find all the... Th things. I mean, I'm gonna answer the phone. Where is the phone? Phone is on the down. So for some reason, it's kind of weird because you know what? I heard the phone up the top, but the phone is on the down, right? So where is it? I cannot find it even. Here we go. The phone is gonna be over here, guys. Let's take it. Let's talk. Who's good guy gonna be? What the hell took you so long? Uh, uh, hello? Thank God you answered. Molly? There are wolves? Yeah, it's me. Listen up, doctor. Okay. They have me surrounded. They're smart sons of bitches. Wait, who has you surrounded? Wolves, are you don't... In are you deaf? It's not who. What? It's those damn wolves. They've cornered me in the barn. It sounds like they're trying to find a way in. But, but wolves don't usually bother people. Don't bother people. Shit, lady, haven't you been paying attention? Never mind that. Okay, okay, what can I do? I need you to bring me something from the house. Okay, but you locked me in here, remember? Flower face. Key to the basement's under it. Look for the gun locker. Grab the rifle rounds. Take the old revolver for protection. Might not stop a wolf, but it'll slow one down. Okay. Follow the blizzard line from the house to the barn. Get here quick and we'll figure it out. Hurry! Okay, okay, I'm on my way. Go straight to the gun locker. Stay out of everything else. Got it? 
Okay, whatever. Obviously, we're not gonna stay out of there. So, uh, another thing I still, guys, didn't even explore 2 out of 3. I didn't find, guys, a third clue, so we have to find a key under a vase now. Where's that vase? Because she told me where that is. Probably over here, guys. There's that big red vase. Let's take it, guys. We're gonna take a key. The basement key. Yeah, yeah, let's go. We're gonna save Molly right now. Because even though, like, still, she kind of argued with me or whatever, but she needs our help, so we're definitely gonna help her. The only thing I hope is that I'm not gonna point a gun at her and be like, I gotta escape. Uh, find Molly's rifle ammunition. Astrid's jacket. Okay, so she just left probably all of the the stuff here. Whatever, we don't care about it. Do I really take it? Astrid's jacket. I mean, probably I'm gonna take it. Because why not? There's my stuff, right? Did I just equip all of it? Guys, I think I equipped it because I don't want to go outside and freeze to death. Okay, so we already have, like, the hunger meter. We already have lots of stuff, energy bar. So, yeah, we're already looting her entire place. And plus, there's the med kit. Yes, we have bandage painkillers. So, what I need now is go, guys, to my thing. So, what we need the pain for the painkillers are sprained ankle. We need a bandage. So, we're guys going to take a bandage to heal my left foot. This way, I'll be able to run again. Everything is going to be great. We're going to, guys, take a painkiller and we're going to eat it. And here we go. We are fine now. There is nothing here, guys. We are perfectly normal. Perfectly... Saved and healed. Why did it start? What? Shaking. Is that her husband? Probably he's dead. I would assume that it's her husband. I would assume, guys, that it's her husband. And maybe that's why she's upset because he died. Holy shit. Yeah, he's probably dead. Can you just cover it back like you didn't touch it? And again, don't make any assumptions. I don't think she killed her. I don't think she killed him. I don't really think that she killed him. Okay, so there's gonna be the gun save. But again, maybe there's something else that I can loot. Okay, so finally, guys, we can start looting stuff. So, again, as I said, really bad to go, like, through a stranger's house to steal stuff. But it is what it is. I'm gonna take everything that I can find. Because that's what the game wants me to do. But if it was real life, I would definitely, guys, not steal. There's a book. Hey, let's take, but let's take some food. For now, again, in the beginning, we're gonna take everything that I can find, but after that, I'm gonna start dropping all the items that I don't need. Okay, so they're giving me lots of things, so it looks like I'll separate myself from Molly. I will have to leave her now, which I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't really want to leave her. She saved me. She re seems really kind, but again, can't really blame Astrid for that. Let's take the Storm Lantern. I think I looted kind of everything. Is there a way? Wait, guys, I'm gonna try to save here. I don't think she's gonna die. Is there a way for me to leave this place and loot the upstairs. Here, I'm gonna leave the basement really quickly. Maybe it's not gonna happen. Maybe she's not gonna die, right? I don't think she's gonna die. Oh, I cannot loot anything here anyways. I cannot, guys, loot the fridge. So, yeah, we're gonna get back. I just wanted to check it out. Maybe I could, like, loot the lockers or whatever, but apparently not really. So, I looted here most of the stuff. I stole here everything. We're gonna, guys, open up the gun locker. Here we go. There is a revolver. Uh, let's, guys, take the revolver. Some ammunition. Some rifle ammunition. So, we're gonna take, guys, the revolver now. Am I gonna reload? Yes, let's try to reload it. Uh, we're gonna add one more bullet. Boop! Very dope, very dope. We're gonna save here once again. We're gonna aim, and we're gonna pop. It's kinda weird that you cannot walk while you're aiming. It's like, it makes you feel locked into one place. I don't know how to say it, but whatever. Look at this. When I'm walking, I cannot aim and walk with it, which makes probably sense. Here we go, guys. We're gonna save. Let's leave the basements. Let's leave the basement. I mean, we're gonna pop those wolves. And we've been already recording here for way over an hour, so I think uh this is already gonna be a very long episode but whatever here we go there's like some sort of grape soda like it's literally frozen it's gonna be 100 percent frozen bro but whatever i'm just gonna follow the lines now to the barn we gotta help her we gotta save her a man's do what he's gotta do baby let's go let's go okay so i think i'll just have to follow this these things because even though there is a blizzard why did she even try to go out in such a blizzard like do you really go and hunt in the blizzard like she had some food right i think she would survive okay so we still guys keep going we still keep going i'm trying to save some sprinting here just in case you know if somebody's gonna attack me uh, so that i could at least run away i have my gun i think i heard something over there but i don't think that was it uh, okay so here we go guys there's a wolf Boom! Schmuck. Are these wolves are gonna attack me? Okay, so they just ran away. Very nice. I'm gonna get back, guys, to the barn. now. not here. Yes, let's open up the door. We're gonna have here. Please don't point that gun at her. Please be nice with her. That's the only thing that I'm hoping for. Okay, so there's another wolf. Uh, simple arrow. Yes, we're gonna take it. Because I think, guys, we're gonna have a bow here. Because there were a lot of uh, fan arts. There's a lot of pictures about her holding a bow with arrows. So I think we're gonna be, guys, using a bow here. At least that's what I think. Where is she now? Where did she go? Hello? Yeah, that me. Yeah. 
Look, sorry I bailed on you, but I couldn't take a chance and wait. It's fine, I understand. Broke into the barn. And as luck would have it, I'd left my bow in here last summer, completely forgot. Anyways, took care of that son of a bitch. Molly, I, I was in your basement. Right. So? I, um, I found the body. Do you really need to talk about it? Molly, who, uh, who was it? None of your business. I told you to stay out of my shit. I mean, really, why did you even ask it? Like, who was it? An old flyer for a town meeting of some kind. Looks like the town's not too far from here. If Mackenzie did pass through, he might have ended up there. Okay, whatever, whatever. So it's really kind of weird. Find Thompson's Crossing. What is this? Find someone who can help guide you out of the Pleasant Valley. So we're just bailing on her. We're literally guys leaving her now. Wow, okay. It was probably her husband, whatever the guy died or whatever, you know. The point is we didn't ask for answer her any questions, but yet she has to answer for us. And we're like, oh, she's mysterious. I gotta escape this place. It's kind of weird. Well, I found a bedroll. That's great. So do am I just gonna leave this barn now? But there is no bow, right? Because I don't see a bow. If I'm gonna miss a bow here now, guys, it will be the saddest thing that I can say, honestly. I have a revolver, but hey, having a bow here would be dope. Like a survival game without a bow is nothing. Well, I honestly hope that I did not miss that bow. So I think I've done everything. I think, guys, I picked up everything. Yeah, I looted all of these things. So yeah, we're just gonna now leave the barn. And I'm gonna try to search for somebody to help me out. When I'm gonna leave it, is there still gonna be a blizzard? Do I just... Oh, no. The blizzard isn't here anymore. So I take back my revolver. And where do I even go, bro? This is the big map. This is the Molly's house. The Pleasant Valley. And I have to go over there now. Really? Maybe we're gonna talk to her here once again. Because I would like to talk to her learn more about it. Because to leave her just like that seems really weird well i'm back here guys at home and it doesn't really look like that she's here right so basically i stayed here in this house just to warm up a little bit because it's really cold outside and i would have had to start a fire or whatever so i just thought why not come in this house and warm up i did not find molly here but i still think that we will meet her maybe we're still gonna talk to her a little bit because i really don't want to just leave molly here just like that but i mean it is what it is what's gonna happen that's gonna happen and i think that we're gonna continue all of this in the next episode because there were lots of dialogues this video is already gonna be pretty long and honestly speaking guys third episode is really fun like look at this we have a completely new map we'll have to go now here to this new house we'll be able to explore like this some sort of barn on our way to like this different house or whatever there's gonna be a completely new story so i just love it and i'm very very excited to continue here with the long dark so i highly suggest you checking out my scrap mechanic survival let's play click on the second card and you'll go to my resident evil 3 remake let's play or hop over to my channel go to playlist and there you'll find a lot of other games that i played here on the channel if you're not subscribed yet definitely be sure to drop the subscribe button and notification Bell to not miss any future videos. Or consider following me on Instagram or Twitter at Episyric. Mm-hmm. Yep.